video I'm going to show you how to make some water uh, using the Tsunami uh, plugin by Red Giant and I already have my plugin uh, installed I'll put the link in the description for the uh, plugin and I'm gonna come over here to effect and Red Giant Tsunami over here we have our water and it's kind of hard to tell in the video um, the rendering for this takes a little bit of time or a little, it's a little I see it's a little bit of time but it's actually a lot of time for the rendering and I have a pretty fast computer but um yeah it's time consuming so I'm just gonna pause it here I'm not gonna spend the time rendering but I'm trying to show you that you can see the motion when you go to the Red Giant um, website you'll see the uh, the plugin in action and I'm trying to show you here some of the waves it's a little bit choppy but trust me the water looks very realistic um, they used it in two movies, uh, I think Titanic was one of them, there's probably more movies, but two of the most popular movies it was used in was Titanic and The Aviator, I think that was the other one, they talk about it on the website, but um, let's go through some of the options here, we can play around with the camera, so you can go, um, you know, up and down, and you can also pan the camera. So you go right to left. And it's pretty cool because you think about it in using keyframes. You would want to set the keyframes so it goes into different directions um, to simulate like you're on a boat. So that's a cool feature. You can set the size of the waves. So if you want to make gigantic waves, I guess you can do that. As far as how they look and the shadows go, you can increase the size of the waves. Um, anything else interesting here? Let me see. You also have the the size of the sun. You can play around with that. I'm going to increase it over here. We can go to view size. And you can just play around with all the, the features in here. I mean, there's so many features that they made for this plugin. It's crazy. And I think that's why uh, the rendering <laughs> takes a little bit of time. But if you have patience for this kind of stuff, it, um, you know, I would recommend it. Um, what else do we have? If you come over here to render options, um, there is a frame, a wire frame we can select. And this is a little bit better. This shows you the, the waves actually in a frame mode and it's pretty smooth. But what you can also do is you have these guides up here. So if you're going to take um, a 3D object and place it inside the water, um, the guides will follow along with the war, um, or the object will follow along with the guides, and you'll be able to do that, such as like a boat or whatever else you'd want to put into the water. And I'm just gonna come over here to too realistic. And when you do too realistic, it, it gives the water even more detail. I'm gonna try to render some of this just a little bit. And by the time this finishes, I'm going to cut this portion out where it's rendering and just show you what the render clip looks like. Because I want to show you guys something that it did, um, you know, just because that's the point of showing this video. So if you can see that, I mean, I'm doing it for five seconds, but, you know, it shows it. So that's about it. Uh, that's the Tsunami plugin for After Effects CS5. This is version 1.4. See you guys later. Thank you.